So in order for these figures to be completely congruent, the angles all had to be congruent and the sides had to be all congruent. So that's why they have the little slash used to represent that they are congruent. Is it really fast? I talk fast. And I'm slow. Okay. So that's just it. different figures. Now that also applies to triangles. But we're going to find a couple different ways to prove triangles. Okay. So this now that was just any figure. Okay. So that can be any side. Now we're going to talk about just triangles. Ways to prove triangles are congruent. I'm going to use the congruent sign, the squiggle equal sign. That's R. R. Got a couple different ways. Okay. To me, the best way to describe these is drawing a picture. The first one is called the SSS, which stands for side, side, side. So the SSS theorem. So if you have a triangle and you have another triangle and you know that each one of these sides is congruent to another side of that triangle by SSS theorem, you know that these two are congruent. And you'll get more into this in geometry. This is just kind of a nice quick version. So we have the side, side, side postulate or theorem, I guess. Theorem would be the better word. Okay, so every single side has to be congruent to another side. When you have this, they're going, their their angles are going to be congruent. Okay, because you can't make the exact same side. It's the same. It's going to make sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we can prove that. Now another um, theorem is SAS, which is side angle side. Okay, so if you have a triangle and you want to compare it to another one, let's say you have this side, they're both congruent. Now the included angle between the two sides. So this angle would have to be congruent to this one and then this side would have to be congruent to that side. So it has to be side, angle, side. So when you read it off, you go, oh, side, angle, side. That angle has to be in between those two sides in order for this to work. That angle cannot be over here. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'll show you why in a little bit. Okay, so that's two. We get two more. Now I'm gonna move over. Okay, we'll do ASA. What do you think that stands for? Well, angle, side, angle. So again, order matters. You have an angle, then the side that's in between it, and then the other angle. So they have to be with each other. So angle, and then a side, and then another angle. And we'll do two slashes on that bottom, two curvies, two archies. Curvies. So that side has to be included in between the two angles in order for this to work. Angle, side, angle. I don't know who that is. I'm not letting him in. Okay. Next one. Angle, angle, side. Um, angle, angle, angle is not a congruency, but we'll get into angle, angle is a similarity. So that's a great question. We'll get into that one. Angle, angle, side. So a triangle and a triangle, one angle, another angle, and then the next side. Angle, angle, side. Now, could that have worked this way too? Angle, angle, side. If this side was the same as this? Yeah. Okay. So just start in one part of the triangle and work it around to see which one works. So looking at all four of these now, I always kind of make a little 
joke, but make sure that you don't have an angle side side postulate. Okay. There's not an angle side side postulate because if you tried to write that out, it would not be a good word. It's something you sit on, not something that's a postulate. Okay. Got it. There is no angle side side postulate. Never has been. Never will be. Okay. Okay. You really not know what it is? No, I'm confused. Okay. Right. And I always tell them that maybe the people they did it were angle side sides, but not. Okay. Do not write that out. Okay. There is not an angle side side postulate. It's not a thing. Okay. Got it? Got it? Don't make make sure you don't do that on your papers. Okay. All right. Let's look at our let's look at our worksheet. Yeah.